It's Wednesday here on LifeWords Day by Day, which means it's Worldview Wednesday. And we've been looking at this interesting group of people called the men of Issachar from 1 Chronicles chapter 12. And it tells us that the men of Issachar understood the times, but it tells us something more. It tells us that they didn't just understand the times, but they let the understanding of the times shape their lives. They knew what to do. Their understanding of the times shaped how they lived their lives. On Mondays through Friday at 1124, I get to teach a group of high school juniors a worldview class. The name of the textbook that we use is Understanding the Times. But the point of the class is not just to understand what is going on, but also how to let the understanding shape how they live their lives. So let's ask the question, what are the times that we are living in today? Well, we are living in terms of our country, the United States, in a time that is growing rapidly and seeing life through a Marxist lens that has its sights set on getting rid of religion and the family. Classical Marxism is the worldview that the world of people is made up of those who have and those who don't have. It was a way of looking at the world through the economy. And Karl Marx really believed that all of life was shaped by whether you owned property or didn't own property. If you owned property or if you owned a business, then you were essentially bad. You were the enemy to be overthrown by those who didn't own property or didn't own a business. And those were the good guys. And the morality leading this revolution was known as the proletariat morality. And the backbone of that morality said that whatever you needed to do to make the revolution happen, then that was good and right. Violence, stealing, lying, looting, killing. The question is, did it contribute to the cause of socialism? If it did, then it was morally good. Religion was to be done away with, especially Christianity, because it was a ploy used by the wealthy to keep the have-nots in their place with all of that take up your cross and submit to God talk. And families were seen as nothing more but free labor for the Father. Marx really believed that this revolution would take place and that the state would own the means of production. That's what we call today socialism. And once everyone had everything in common, then there would no longer be a need for police or government, and we would enter into a communistic utopia where people would work according to their ability and they would receive according to their need, where the entire community would raise the children in a public education format, and there would be no need for marriage, but instead it would be a free-for-all love fest. That's the times that we are living in today. If you'll join us next week, I'll show you how that philosophy has filtered in and what we are to do about it. As you pray today, please remember Grady Johnson and his family, our missionaries in Mexico. And also remember the Makua Word broadcast that's heard throughout Mozambique.